us. Like, 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 like her. Guys, I may have found, um, like a position for the camera. Who fucking knows? I don't know. I only think, I only think only God knows. Okay. So, um, hi guys. I'm finally doing the eyebrow tutorial. <laughs> that sounds so fucking weird. The eyebrow, um, video thing that y'all asked for. Okay, so basically, um, is it too bright in here? Where am I going? Okay, that's a little bit better. I don't know what I did. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia um, dip brow powder and like liquid dip, dip brow like pomade thing. Um, I'm gonna. It's the dip brow. Okay, dip brow pomade. It's. I use the color dark brown simply because it's a better color for my eyebrows. Um, I realize that other shades. Um, I guess I did my hair so I wanted it to be darker and then I just want them dark so and I look and I like how they look it doesn't matter what people say it doesn't matter the rules that people invent whatever so I use a dark brown one and I use the does it have a name it doesn't have a name but this is like I bought this like five my mom bought this for me like six years ago at this at the Cerritos Mall um Cerritos Mall Nordstrom, whatever they sold Anastasia in there. I don't even know. I don't even know where I got this honestly, but I got this. I know it's Anastasia because that's what she got my first dip brow powder ever. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be using this. It's just like a little brush like this. Hold on, let me see. This is how they do it. Oh my God! Is it is? It is how they do it. Okay, cool. So this, and you can already see. I opened it, and you can already see that it's like this. So I just use this. So, um. My eyebrows, I don't like plucking them because um, they hurt and I don't like getting my, I don't like my eyes watery. So I use this that I, I found at the swap meet. It's at the brand Adro. And basically I just kind of like, here, let me zoom you guys in. So basically all I do is kind of do this and just like cut the little hairs that are extra on my eyebrow. This, and I don't do a lot because a lot of the times I just cover it with concealer and And then if you want to be like cool and shit, do it here too. Cutting my fucking actual hairs. Okay, so that's basically all I do. Just kind of like keep them tamed, this eyebrow first. So all I do honestly <clears throat> is just get a little bit with my little brush thing. Um, and I just, I start here. I basically just draw a line under. But y'all see how. Okay. So I just get more. Strong. Just strokes like that. Beauty grooves are like, oh my god, I want them to look natural. No, I don't care. Everyone knows I wear fake eyebrows. Like, might as well look, might as well like make them look hella fake and good. You know what I'm saying? And then I just kind of do it the same stroke, just basically just like painting on. I have like a pimple on my eyebrow, so please ignore that. I'm gonna make it go away soon um, with makeup. Just on the top as well. And then I like to just follow my natural like brow, uh, my my natural like. What time is it? I have to go to work. <sighs> I don't even. I, don't know. Okay, I have to leave like in. 10 minutes. I gotta finish this like in 10 minutes, bro. Mm -hmm. There you go. And just like follow a little tip thing. I like to just do this. Um, Just kind of clean it up a bit. Just kind of like do that. Clean it up, kind of. And then I like to fill it up more up here. And then here, I just kind of do it like, like just straight lines or whatever. But I don't like do like the block. I like that's the only thing that I like to just kind of do this too. And that's just like me making it look like not fake. I just don't have patience, so I never learned like the right technique to make the little hairs on that side of the eyebrow. Like I tried, and then it just would. I just I just couldn't do it. So I just clean it like that. I don't care. That's okay. You're gonna fix it with concealer. Later. And honestly, it just depends on the mood of the day. How thick I'll go that day, but today I just picked this way. Whatever, it doesn't really matter again. Just gonna do that. 
make it pigmented. See that one? <gasps> I made it like a square. What the? Shruckers. Hold up. Let me fix it. Whatever. Okay. That's okay. So that's how they look. Um. Now I'm gonna use my concealer brush. <laughs> Laura Lee, you're like, okay, this. So you're gonna focus, yeah, your name. Whatever, you get the point. And then I use the Maybelline concealer. <laughs> I'm almost out, bro. I'm gonna use the shade medium. I'm gonna use this a little bit. And then I'm gonna do that. And just clean it up, bro. That's it. Get that brush. Okay, cool. And the same thing on the other side. Same thing. This little handy dandy concealer. Like, I don't know. I just use it for my eye concealer. I'm gonna set it. Like, just to, like blend the concealer. Just make it like sit forever and ever. That. Real. My OG will be the airspun one. I just use the airspun thing. Nike outer thing, and then I use this, um, this like beauty blender from Real Techniques. It's all right, fucking ripped, and I just do this to the whole thing, the whole lid. Just that was it, all over the eyelid, so you look like weird. I use this angled brush, it's a different one, it's from e e e Emacs Design. I thought it was equal to it, but Emacs Design. And I'm gonna use my Morphe um, 35O palette. Just it's just basically like bronzy colors, and I use that for like on top of my eyebrows. And I'll show you right now. So now I'm gonna grab this beautiful br brush and just take off the powder. And since the pot the powder makes your eyebrows look kind of ashy, that's why I use this color. Same shebang. And the powder is just to set it and not and to make them matte, if that makes any sense. Um, both of them, both the powder. So it just, just makes it nice. So that it's gonna last the whole day, pretty much. So like basically, what I do, both of them are done. And then I use the Super Lash Apple Mascara. Um, so it's basically a clear mascara, but since I don't like using clear mascara because I think that's weird or whatever, it just, it's my opinion. I just like using the clear mascara for my eyebrows with the gel. Same thing to this eyebrow. All I do. So it's basically the finished product of my eyebrows. That's all I do with my eyebrows. It took like 10 minutes, I think. I promise that I'll do my mascara and like... Um, eyelash tutorial next and I'll put them together in a video so that I can just upload that for you guys. Basically now I do um, this. I curl my eyelashes. Um, should I do eyeshadow? Should I do eyeshadow? I'm gonna do like, it's just like a brown from the same Morphe palette I use for my eyebrows. Like this. Just really basic. Like, you know, should But you're not a construction worker. Yeah. What's that for? It's the madera. Yeah, it's my camera. I'm filming a video for YouTube. 
<laughs> he started laughing. <laughs> that right now. Que me tienes envidia. What are you doing? Okay, so now we're gonna do eyelashes. I had to okay, so I had to go in my bag because there that's where I keep my eyelash glue and my like um tweezers. I have two tweezers, one here and one in my back, just in case my eyelashes just I always just want to be prepared. Basically, so the eyelash head glue is the dual eyelash glue. Um eyelash adhesive. It's it's the white clear one. So it's tinged white but then it dries to clear. So this is what it is. Dual eyelash glue. So the way solder. And then I use these tweezers that I got like at the swami one day. I lost this one, I lost a little pink thing these tweezers and then I use this too sometimes depending on how I feel that day I use these um it's like the it's basically just like put them together like that a more us um eyelash adhesive um they're number m <laughs> number m w s p um 100 and the color black and so they're just basically wispies um, so you know how right here it has like a lot of glue basically it's because I put some of the single eyelashes so I basically I use some of these to put here to make it more like wispier towards the end and that's why it has like a lot of glue but you can't see it once you put it on it's kind of nasty right now but it's fine just like a light like coat on And then while that's being done, I'm gonna set it down somewhere where like that glue won't come off. The trick, everyone always asks me, they're like, bro, like what do you do? Like how do you get them on so nice? I just let them get okay, honestly, it's not always it doesn't always work the way that I like want it to work. It's not always like a for sure thing. But I just let it dry. Say, oh my god, I know YouTube YouTubers are like, oh like when it took it's tacky. Literally. Like you have you have to wait until it gets like tacky and like nah, like kinda like slimy and it was like kinda like when Elmer's glue's drying on you and it's like this, like I don't know. <sighs> like that. And just let it just have to let it dry, bro. Just let it dry. Like don't don't trip. So for example, this min this video is 355. I'm at 209, so I'm gonna just let it I'm gonna let it watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna like let it like dry until it ends. Okay. So I'm gonna just put the center on first. Take this glue out of here, and then I'm gonna glue the end. And then the middle. So you put it in the, like right on in the center, right on the center. Down, you go beach, and then I'm gonna put the end down. And that's where this one comes in, guys.
It is optional too. Do you just put iron in the bottom so that it doesn't look like that's fake? I don't know. up guys before this happens how to get my tweezers that I have oh my god oh my god I'm tapping off dude oh bro I don't know I guess I took it off the top. Like, like a red nose. If she gon' shake it, like a red nose.